uppercase and lowercase letters. We all know about it, right? Very common thing when you're writing down words, uppercase to start a word, lowercase and the rest of the word, sometimes there's other uppercase stuff, blah, 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 blah. And we know about letters and numbers, how you spell words with letters, but you count things with numbers. But have you ever asked yourself, why isn't there uppercase and lowercase numbers as there are uppercase and lowercase letters? Now, to my surprise, there actually are cases of like lowercase numbers, but they're a little complicated. In certain fonts such as Georgia or Adobe Garamond, there are what are called text figures, which are essentially numbers that are either smaller or they're just misplaced to kind of give the effect of lowercase. However, these are only specific to one font and that font doesn't have uppercase numbers to go with it. And so it's kind of just the font makes numbers weird and it's not really lowercase numbers. But today I'm going to change that as one font can have uppercase and lowercase letters. Well, I'm going to make one font of uppercase and lowercase numbers and I will truly create true lowercase numbers today, starting with the number one. So normally we write the number one as either just a straight line or or we add you know some fancy stuff to it. Now this is a pretty good one. You know, and I think both of these are pretty good designs for the number one. But what are we gonna do for a lowercase version, right? And to do that, we really have to just look at lowercase letters. They're variations of just smaller versions of that letter or they're just entirely new symbols that someone just made up and had no basis for, no pattern, they just made it. And so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for the next 10 digits that we're doing. And so for my font, we are going to be scrapping that, that, that line because that's just a lowercase L. You know, that can get confusing. And for this lowercase one, I'll just, I'll just show you. And so here I took inspiration from the lowercase i. I kind of just took the one, got rid of that line, shrank it, and added the dot. So it's essentially just a lowercase i with an extra little thing. Now, if you draw your lowercase i's like this, then you're the problem, all right? You cannot confuse this with lowercase i. This is a pretty good lowercase one, I would say, and I think it's gonna get the job done. The number two. Now, some people write them like this. Uh, however, we're doing our own font, and so any other variation of two that I don't like do, uh, it's not correct, right? It's, it's just false, right? You, you can't draw your twos like that anymore. It looks like a backwards, like, six. Uh, no, it doesn't. And so for the two, I kind of thought of some variations, but I've kind of seen it already done, because I'm not really the only YouTuber that's done this. I've had this idea for literally ever. I'm only just now getting to it. And so if you think I'm copying someone, I te I'm technically not, but I was almost inspired to actually do it by another YouTuber, so I don't know. But I tried my best not to copy. So for this, it's literally just uh, it's a small one too. <laughs> it's pretty easy to remember. It's like O or S. I, I did take inspiration from S. It just looks like a backwards S, but a little fancier. So now we have three. Now three, I thought long and hard. I wasn't entirely sure what to do. I kind of at first thought, since it's like B, but without the line, they should just be lowercase b without the line as well. Oh, then I thought that was stupid, uh, but but then I didn't. And uh, yeah, that's our that's our lowercase three. It's just a backwards c, and I feel like that symbol exists somewhere already. Uh, but no one uses it, so it's fine. Lowercase three. Now here is one I think is actually pretty good. The number four has a lot oh, has a lot of you know, variations. It has that, it has that, and uh, actually I think that's it. There's just probably another version of it in a different font, but as for right now, these are the only two I can think of. And this is one of those cases where I'm like, I like this four. This four is fantastic. Say that again. It's fantastic. Say that again. No. I, I do like this design before, I just never use it. However, due to my love for Marvel, I had to bring it into the canon of my numbers. It's a lowercase four. I think this just makes sense. Uh, it brings the variation of the number to it. And it's a lot more unique than like the two. I think this one just suits the lowercase. It's just a slightly different four. This is one I'm proud of, even though it's kind of obvious. I like it. 
And so, yeah, this is lowercase four. And so for the number five, it just looks like a backwards two, which is an S, but different. And for this, once again, it's just a smaller five. Like to me, two and five are almost like the same, but just different directions. Uh, they are on digital clocks, that is. And it just seems fitting for it to be a repeat. And so that's what I did. It's just repeated. Um, now this might just be my most unique one yet. The number six. I thought of so many things. I thought of just doing this, like almost reversing it. That's just a nine or a G or I don't know. I thought of just like doing this. I was conflicted for a long time on what to do. But then I started to remember G. It's lowercase does looks nothing like it. There's, it's nothing like it, right? And so I decided I'm going to make my own unique symbol. And that's what I've done. That's lowercase six. Now you might be like, that is, that looks nothing like a six. That should be nothing like a six. But like I said, it's a unique symbol. Lowercase for six. And multiple letters do this, we just don't care because we're already used to it. And so this, I don't know where I got it from, but I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to make just like that. Heck, it could be round if you really wanted to, but I decided to make it more triangular. Now that I look at it, I probably should have made it the rounder version. Number seven is where we decide to pull out the line. Ultimately, this is the probably most ununique one I've ever thought of. So this is our seven, or if you want to be dumb, you can put a line through it. But we're not going to do that. We're, we're not doing that. No lines. The lowercase is just that. And ultimately, no letter really does this where it's just a clone under the line. But I decided to do that for this just because. Now, if you thought six was weird, you're going to hate eight. But I think this one's unique. And I think this one just adds so much variety to digits we use. But this one takes inspiration from this symbol that I put on screen. I don't know what it's called. I'm just thinking of it. My, the editor version of me will figure it out. Something like that. You might be like, that's, that looks nothing like an eight. And that you would be completely correct. Now this might be like, well, how do you start like a, a sentence with this? Or how do you start something with it, right? Like if this is my notebook and I'm trying to start the sentence with eight, but it's a lowercase eight, do I have to like just draw across the, or? Draw, oh, I'm doing this horribly. Like draw across the big line. Well, grammatically, you don't even start sentences with a number, let alone a lowercase one. So this is not a problem. Essentially, this number just goes underneath the previous digit. Or if there's a space, it just is there. I just wanted this one to be super unique. No reason at all. I just thought the curve is like an eight. It's almost like an unbound eight. It just like fell and tripped and died. And it's like this unraveled eight lying on the ground. That's lowercase eight. As for our last just normal number, we have nine. And for nine, I kind of took inspiration from the letter G. As you can see, this is a G and this is a lowercase G. And so I kind of took the principle of nine, nine kind of being like this sometimes too. And I kind of, it just looks like a lowercase G. And so I thought for a lowercase nine, why not just make it G? Kind of messed it up. It's essentially a backwards capital G, but without that extra line and, and it's smaller. This one is kind of just me being goofy. I literally took inspiration quite literally from the alphabet and just took another letter. That's lowercase nine. Hope you enjoy. And last, but quite literally least, is zero. For this zero, I decided to just take inspiration from seven and it's literally. I thought about making it like a smaller zero with like the line through it or something. And I like that idea. But I think everyone would think of that. And doing it under the line just that makes it unique, except for seven. So yeah, there you go. And so here they are, all of our lowercase numbers. And I'll, I'll just put the chart on screen. The glare is horrible in here. So what did we learn from today? Well, we learned that making a 19-year-old college student make and change the phonetic alphabet number numerals um, was a great idea. Now you might be wondering, what case am I going to use these lowercase numbers for? Like when on earth am I ever going to use it? Well, I have just the case. So we know that uppercase letters usually start a word or start a sentence, start a proper noun, whatever. And then the rest of the letters in that sentence or that word is lowercase. 
And so I think it's gonna be the exact same for numbers. Although you can still write them in full uppercase, grammatically, it'd be proper to use the rest as lowercase. So, so 100,007, the first letter is gonna be capitalized and then the rest will be lowercase. However, just like McDonald has a capital M, lowercase c and then just a random capital d it's going to be like almost the same for numbers so in a hundred thousand and seven the third zero like the one right after the comma is also going to be capital and the rest will be lowercase however this is completely optional Bruh. and really i think lowercase numbers are going to be more for adding like a quiet effect a nonchalant effect to numbers uh and so when you're texting someone and you're like texting all lowercase well when you're texting numbers they're also going to be lowercase all of them. and so that's my that, that, that's my use for lowercase. There's not really a, re a real reason to have them, but at the same time, there's not really a real reason to have lowercase letters when you think about it. So I think this will revolutionize, you know, every language in existence. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I had for today. I am bringing videos back. I am back to making YouTube. Yes, it is time. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, because I will actually finally be making videos again. Uh, I've been falling off. My sub count has been going down and my morale has gone down, but making YouTube videos is fun for me. And now I am back in college and I have more time to make videos, which makes zero sense. You'd think college would take up more time, but no, I have more free time, if anything. Anyway, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.